Alrighty. I guess what I'm going to do now, I'm going to start a little series here on painting freight cars, stripping the paint off them. Um, and I'm going to make a Tropicana juice train. And right now I got four Atherin pre-decorated cars here, all different road numbers. And I basically can't find any more of them. I can find some more with the same numbers on them, which I bought some of those. And I'm going to just um, change the um, the numbers. But um, I want a good size train, so I'm going to have to buy some more of these cars in different road names. And paint them. Strip the paint off and paint them. So, let me show you how I do that. There's an Atherin ready to roll car that I purchased uh, not too long ago. Um, Burlington Northern, and we're going to take this car, strip the paint off, put some detail parts on it, paint it into the Tropicana scheme that we see behind here. Here's the car. It's basically the same kit. It's got metal wheels. Um, I guess there's a little more detail on the trucks, but uh, basically it's the same. It's the same kit that would that's basically put together now. Like I said, the only upgrade I see are the metal wheels. These have plastic wheels, which I'll change a nose. But uh, here's some older blue box kits I have that I'm going to strip the paint off of these. I've had these lying around. You can get these off of eBay too, used for like a couple bucks, I, I would think. Not too much. Um, and this Golden West Service one is actually a Concord kit too back from the same time time era. It's basically looks the same as the Atherin. Only the you know the coupler box is a little different. Uh, the trucks are a little different, but same car. Anyway, right, the first thing we're gonna do obviously is we gotta pull the pull the body shell off because we don't need to do anything to the bottom of the car. It's only the shell. Get the shell. Put this up here. And we're good. We got the shell. And we'll put it right into the Okay, here's the little uh canister I made to strip paint. It's three inch PVC schedule 40 with a plug on the bottom. Or a cover. And this is a clean out on the top. Each clean out with the clean out cap. All right. Unscrewed the top. And pull the box car out of here. Make sure you have make sure you have protective gloves on with this stuff because it. You know, I don't know how harmful it is to your skin if you get it on it. But end up there, and you can see how the stuff just it sort of washes off. Right there, see? Stuff works pretty good. Yes, sir. I actually, I actually had pulled, pulled this one out already and, and cleaned off some of the paint. And I put it in for a second run here. And I'm, you know, I, I'm only full about halfway, so I flip the car over because this uh, um, this is scale coat to uh, paint stripper, and it's about twenty bucks for a fucking sixteen ounce model of it. So Works very good. I mean, if I had a had this whole thing submerged in it, it would probably the whole car would be like just cleaned, 
just melt right off. You gotta scrub a little bit because it's just be, be careful not to if you want to save your your um your stair up steps. You see I'm I'm putting I'm putting um A line ones on these cars anyway. So I'm gonna detail these cars up. Well but as you can see this it cleans it off pretty good. That's only a couple hours in there each side, so, you know, pretty good here. Just cleaned off here under here. Let me get this out of here. There we go there. But I actually got the PVC pipe uh, idea from a an article I took out of Monterey uh, Craftsman quite a few years ago. This thing here, and uh, there was actually a, an article on it too about a, a you can use some I think it's a peanut jar that he was using a glass jar you could see through when you can see through it you can see the paint coming off it's a little easier to. I know when the car's ready, but this is just as good as far as I'm concerned. And being that uh, I am a plumber for New York State, I got tons of plumbing parts hanging around. So PVC, that's three-inch PVC, it's Schedule Forty. Um, you, you you can buy pieces, um, cut-off pieces at Home Depot. So you don't have to buy the whole 20 foot length. You can just buy the, I think they're like three feet, three foot lengths. If you and then you just get the uh, the cap and then the and then the clean out. Once you get it down down to this point, you throw it in water and let it soak in the water, and the stuff will come off more. And then you hit it again with the uh, with the toothbrush in the water, and it gets the rest of it off of here. Clean this off. It's really amazing this stuff, how much it takes to paint right off, right down in a plastic. Hmm. Anyway, there we have it. There's a little bit of yellow paint left on it, but overall, she's cleaned off pretty good. Get these gloves off. And again, here's the here's the stuff that I use right here. And model train stuff has it in stock. And I paid, I think it was $22 for it. Alrighty, now there's my pan of water. There's my pan of water. Take this inside the water here and clean the stuff off of it here. Let's go there. There you go. Let that soak in there and clean it off with this a little bit. You know, all the other stuff comes off. This gets off little pieces. Okay. Let that soak in there for a while. It looks good in here. Right. Oh, that water's cold. Oh. Cold down here in the basement. Oh. All right. All right. Anyway. I, I usually let that sit in there for overnight like that. And there we have it. There we are with the finished product after it's soaked in water for a few hours. I took it out, I scrubbed it a little more with the with the toothbrush. You know, you're not gonna get it all off, I guess, but it works well. See, I broke off one here and got one over here, busted off. But like I said, I'm putting um, a line stirrup steps on there, wire ones. They look they look better. Anyway, there we go. I got five cars ready to be painted and detailed.
Actually, this version too. This is an Atherin car too. Um, I think they were white to begin with like this, and then they went to the orange cars. And now all the newer modern ones are white, I believe. So, but when I'm doing the older, uh, uh, late 80s or early 90s version, which are these. Okay, I'm going to end it here, part one. We got some paint stripped off. I'm going to go buy the decorated ones I got here. And what we're doing is we're going to end up doing the the orange scheme. So, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll be back with part two. We'll put some detail parts on, some stirrup steps, um, some grab irons, uh, some some of the uh the those little walkways that are over the uh uh the couplers some coupler lift bars and i guess when i go to the uh the springfield show uh next week i'm gonna uh be looking for some detail parts for these cars so anyway thanks for watching and I'll see you in real soon with part two.